Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I want to give a shout out real quick uh, to a uh, channel that I just found uh, recently, and a lot of you guys have heard about them too, and that would be uh, KC Blade Drip, and uh, he has a really awesome channel, a really nice variety of knives, and uh, really gives, uh, I think, a really good review on knives. Uh, I think that it's definitely worth your time to check him out. If you haven't heard about him, uh, go to the description box in the channel list. He'll be the uh, latest edition of uh, of the uh, channels that I have listed there. So he'll be uh, down in there. Go ahead and uh, you know check him out. Give him a sub. Tell him I said hi. Uh, newer channel, and the guy is just knocking it out of the park. Uh, so definitely go uh, go check him out. He's all about uh, knives and vets and pets. And uh, hey, I'm all about those things too. So let's uh, let's talk about this knife. As you can see from the stuff that's uh, sitting on the table, it is a uh, Boker Plus, and you've already seen the uh, title. This is one of the uh, Quaken designs. This uh, is the uh, Boker Plus. The uh, Burnley, uh, I guess the P would stand for purple, I'm not sure, but it's the uh, Quaken Air Purple Haze Carbon Fiber. And it's kind of confusing in a way, uh, but we'll go over that in a second. This knife came to us from the uh, Apex Group, so I just wanted to give a shout out to them also. So it comes in this nice little pouch. A uh, nice zippered pouch. Uh, it comes wrapped up in this uh, paper. Yes, I've taken the knife out. You get some uh, little literature here from uh, Boker. You have a nice, uh, you know, soft interior here. And a couple pouches. You could put a couple of knives in here if you wanted to. Uh, really a nice little, uh, nice little, little taco pouch. And of course with the nice uh, Boker Plus uh, badge on it. But uh, here, we'll get all this stuff out of the way. Excuse me for the crunching paper. And here's what you really want to see. You want to see this guy here. Check out that purple carbon fiber. And look at how it shimmers in the light. I mean, is that crazy or what? This is uh, really a very cool little knife. Uh, they said it was a gentleman's knife. And I thought, well, this is actually big for a gentleman's knife, but after carrying it, I mean, this thing just hides in your, in your pocket. It's just so slim, very light. And here's our blade just pops right on out of there. It's a beautiful VG 10, just awesome. Awesome blade, nice slicer. Your finger will come right up to the, uh, the little, flipping tab and stop your forward movement there. Uh, it does have a nice uh, pocket clip here. It does have the countersunk screws like we had, like I like. Uh, and then we have a nice little uh, spacer in here. You're just, wow, what a gorgeous knife. I mean, this is fantastic. It just, it fits your hand well. There's plenty of space. That's, you know, choking up on my fingers or I can spread them out. Uh, you could hold it down here and still have a full grip if you needed extra reach. Uh, but what a nice little slicer it is. And you got this little bit of a flat that's up here in this, you know, back third. But then it just falls off into a perfect flat grind. Uh, this is designed by Lucas Burnley. It's uh, what he calls a minimalist design, and I would say yes. Very much gives that uh, kind of Asian-inspired, you know, kind of samurai-looking, at least to me, this this looks like something that, that a modern uh, samurai would have. Uh, it does shake shut, you know, just really super nice. Uh, this is called... Uh, purple rain carbon fiber scales and it's made by fat carbon specifically for this knife uh, this knife came from uh, Caviso 
uh, K-A-V-I-S-O. And so this is one of their uh, drops. It is a numbered knife, which I don't know if you can see that on here. It says 56. So I don't know if there's a set uh, number of these or if they're just, uh, you know, numbering them just to have a, a number on them. You can see the uh, Boker Plus uh, logo there. And then on this side, it just says Burnley and VG10 for your blade steel. You have this nice uh, blacked out uh, blade, which I think just with this purple, it just sets it off just super nice. All black hardware on here and just an elegant, elegant design. Uh, just some of the, uh, the uh, uh, specs on this. We're looking at an overall length of just over eight inches. When it's closed, it's 5.8 inches. You have a three and a half inch blade. And it weighs a whopping 2.8 ounces. You now, like I said, this thing just disappears. Uh, it is running on a ball bearing system for your, uh, for your pivot. And just, just a definitely gorgeous knife. Uh, when I looked at the Caviso uh, website, uh, these were going for, I believe they were right around $115, uh, which I think uh, for VG10 and the uh, fat carbon scales, definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, this is just, man, it just feels so good in hand. It really does. Nice, nice blade shape to it. Uh, I really enjoyed using this. <laughs> I've had it in my pocket uh, in and out all week, uh, just just carrying it around and, and testing it, you know, on different things that I that I could. But uh, just it's a it's a very delightful knife to uh, steal a, a phrase from Tom, but over at uh, Knife Delights. But yeah, this is uh, just, just cool. If you like this kind of stuff, I mean, I think the, the only drawback I had to it at all was trying to take a picture of it because as you see, it likes to roll. And that's because it's kind of, uh, you know, convex, I think, yeah, as opposed, or is it concave? I can't remember which one. But the uh, scales are just slightly, so they don't quite lay flat it wants to it wants to stay kind of curved and back which makes it kind of tough when you're trying to take a picture you have to find something to uh, prop it up with but in the hand uh, that's no problem that that makes it feel good this carbon fiber uh, does feel nice to the hand it's smooth but it's not too smooth if that makes sense it's not grippy like uh, like some sandpaper or something it's not textured but it doesn't feel like it's going to, you know, slip, slip out of your hand. So anyways, I'll quit bending your ears about this guy. It's a really neat knife. Sad to see it go. Uh, this will be going on to uh, Mattis Faction. So you can check out his review and see what he likes about it, what he doesn't like about it. And... Uh, I enjoy you. I, I hope you enjoy this, uh, Matt, because I, I certainly did. Anyways, that's it for this one. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, don't forget to check out the channel list and go see uh, KC Blade Drip. I will uh, talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks.